Hello everybody, you have successfully turned the video around to side B. If you haven't checked out side A yet, then click the link up here. And otherwise we will continue with more first impressions of the games included in this month's humble choice. So let's go! This unsponsored bit of content is brought to you by Robin's Q. Operational. Operational. Testing power systems. This is Project Winter. It's a social deduction game where up to eight people try to survive in a winter wonderland where they have to try to finish tasks before time runs out and everybody freezes to death because of a blizzard. And of course, not everybody is to be trusted, so some people will try to kill everybody else for absolutely no reason. And since it's a multiplayer game, I brought a friend along. I'm playing with Polywhirl. Hello. What's up? Amazing. Nice to see you, Rob. The game is asking me to do tutorials, but uh, I will absolutely skip these in true first impression fashion fashion oh wait i can change my character nice okay cool give me a second i have to make myself absolutely stunningly beautiful nobody's gonna see me coming i am going to be stealth itself oh let's go let's jump in i am so ready i feel like i am ready man nice really nice <laughs> nice it's so nice it's so nice, nice. It's so nice. Oh my God. <laughs> So nice. I saw a moose or meese. Moose or meese? I think it's meese, right? Let's not start the moose meese conversation, man. It's gonna take forever. What is this uh, information panel? Hello. Needs repair. Power stations. So we have to collect resources? Yeah. For what? <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. Wait, mega blizzard incoming. I can't pick up. I freaking chunky gaming stole my wood okay so we have to make tools what can i use better an axe a pickaxe or a sickle i like sickles i've always been a sickle kind of guy <laughs> it's very interesting that there is crafting hey it's the moose meese situation oh, yeah, it's the Moose's Meese Caravan. It's a caravan of Meese's? It's a caravan of Moose's. Moose's? Where, where are you? Hold on, I, I thought you were at the I, power station. I thought I was going to the power station, but I am back at the Moose's Meese's. Wait, is this the power? I found the power station. Okay, nice. What do we need? We need four fuel and four s mechanical scrap. Okay, yeah, let's go then. Okay, cool. This is awesome. This is amazing. What is this? Wait, what wow, is this? what is, what the hell? Wow, secrets. Berries. Wait, wait, wait. We need to eat? Yeah, we need some food. What? Oh, shit. There is a food meter in it. Nom, 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 nom. So it's it's funny. So it's like a little social deduction game with some survival elements and crafting. I love how we are the only two people that are doing stuff that is useful. I also have no idea. Okay, I'm at the helipad. We only need three fuel and one round. Oh, shoot. It's cold. Oh, my, oh my God. I am also cold. Oh, my hey, God. Go why did... Oh, my God. Why do we never listen to the freaking weather forecast? Oh, I don't believe God. in weather forecast. Well, I I can't see. I can't see anything. Chestnuts roasting by an open fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, the weather outside is frightful. Make yourself a shotgun? I made myself nice. a friend shotgun, what? I am in the cabin, but I'm still dying of frost. Yeah, because the mega blizzard came. Oh, it's just too late. Let's keep a vehicle approaching. Let's go. Yeah, yeah but Let's I, go, I, go, yeah, go, but go, I, go, but go. I am dying. I won't make the trip. I am killing people. I am dead. No, I'll remember you. <laughs> I am approaching the <laughs> helicopter. No, I died. No, uh. no, you didn't make it. But you were supposed to avenge us. <laughs> that was good. I liked it a lot. But if you can play this with a group of friends or like a group of people that are actually serious and not just two really annoying trolling people like we were playing with. Right. Then this is really solid. Very good. Very good. Bear. This is Iron Harvest. It's a real-time strategy game. It's set in an alternative universe just after the First World War where we're going to control giant mechs and we're going to rage warfare with them. And it's going to be awesome. I am pumped. Can you notice? I'm pumped. Pumped! Okay, there are campaigns, missions, multiplayer, and options. Let's jump into the campaign and we'll see. This style is immediately really, really cool, but it actually makes me think of a board game. Scythe? Really good board game. I really like Scythe. Our warfare starts with this kid. Okay, let's go. Normal controls, it's all normal. Defeat the boys, we can do that. UASD controls, we can move with the mouse, we can zoom in and out, it's all normal. Get an enemy to attack, there we go. Throw some snowballs, it's all normal. What do you mean ambush? It's one girl. How do you mean? That's, that's not an ambush. I will throw snowballs at people. Funny, this is a funny little tutorial. Okay, so we can take cover. <gasps> no, it's an ambush. This is an actual ambush. Extra creepy because they all look the same. Okay, we're gonna hunt. Is she not way too young to try this? Well, I guess it's wartime. Hello, dare. You're literally running up to the dare. Of course you're not quiet. You're running. Oh, yes. Bushes. Magical game bushes are here again. Nice, nice. It's time, girl. Use your ability. <gasps> She did it. Oh no, a bear. Yes, there you go, girl. You got a lot better real fast. Look at you. Hello. Suddenly more cinematic thing. 
<gasps> Tiny bear. No, we killed your mommy. Oh, that's so sad. Not the little bear. Kidding me. <laughs> Not what I expected. You can just skip through videos like this. Why would you want to do that? This looks really cool. Look at this. This is really cool. What? Look at this stuff! This is awesome! It's like a stop motion kind of thing. What? It looks so cool. That's awesome. Oh my god, this is so cool. She's all grown up now and the bear is actually her friend. Are you kidding me? Come on, bear. Let's do this. Teamwork makes the dream work. It's a long time ago that I played a classic RTS game like this. So your character has a couple of abilities, which has a little recharge, so you can't just keep using it all the time. The graphics are very nice. I do very much like this. It looks very nice. Look at this. They're just freaking running up to melee us in the face. Come on, bear, do something. I do like how in strategy games, they always explain to you that being strategic is better than just running into action. You don't say. I also like how they explain strategy to me and then I do the opposite. I just run into danger like this. I'm just standing here. Then again, they just run up to you as well. So I feel like this is somewhat uh, called for. The whole looking for cover stuff, I mean, I'm just standing here. Why would I? Ooh, unit is now a feather. Okay, what's that mean? Do they now battle cry that's interesting uh, she really does not want to have grenades she does not like grenades you may use hand grenades you didn't want to pick them up just run away no run just just keep running freaking mech are you kidding me now this is not the best moment for mechs i feel like okay let's go let's throw grenades let's just throw why are you going what the hell man what the actual hell throw the grenades no my bear you're burning my bear dude take the grenades faster you're burning my bear no my bear this bear is so epic. Bear, how did you survive any of this? For you, can you go get some health? Because Jesus, cannons, anti-mech weapons, that sounds positive. Whoa, okay, that's very strong. No, bear, bear, return, return, right now, bear. Bear, stop being the hero. Stop it, bear. Oh man, I can't bear this. Oh my god, yes, we're gonna pick up one of these things for ourselves now. Man, that bear is just so epic. Look at him go. He's the most epic bear in the world. So in conclusion, it's a solid game with an expansive story going on. Awesome setting with the mechs and stuff too. That bear, man, that bear is badass. Space! This is Between the Stars is an action RPG where we are a captain of a gigantic spaceship and have space battles and be the most amazing person between the stars. See what I did there? This game is also still an early access, so keep that in mind as well. So let's start the prologue. I don't know if the prologue is the only thing that's released at this point, but we'll find out. Oh no. In the menu it looked a bit dodgy, but this this looks really good. I'm liking this. So much epic. Oh, okay. Oh. Warp successful. Wow, warp successful. We are in the game. Okay, space controls, space controls. Have some patience, guys. Scroll the mouse wheel to move forward faster and backwards to go slower. Or backwards, just reverse. Oh, okay. Tilt the ship, turn the ship, rotate the ship. I've never heard a computer system that sounds nasal. Quite interesting. Operational. Testing power systems. Okay, so we can assign our energy to to different things with the arrow buttons which is interesting destroy the enemy ships how do we attack it's just clicking with the mouse button that's a lot easier than i anticipated let me just go a bit down as well just uh, ah it's one wow giant explosions take this i am missing a lot of missings uh so your weapon can like overheat or something so you can't just keep shooting forever that's logical i'm missing everything how can i they're not explaining anything to me it is right there shoot it why is none of my no, i'm not even hitting a little bit nuclear missiles Yes, please. What did I do? Where's it going? Finally, there you go. Bam! Giant missile. This is what I'm talking about. I'm still just trying to freaking hit something. Anything. Any, anything at all. And of course, the nuclear rockets go in a really weird arc. And then... Wow, they do shoot something, that is for sure. Okay, it is, now that I'm close to it, I can finally do it. Yeah, let's warp drive out of here. Then why did we stop here to begin with? Just for this tutorial? Just to be attacked more? Wow, a map. Casetella. Let's go. We put our power in the engines, and then we're just gonna try to go there as fast as possible, I would say. Quantum engines? Wow, what? Oh, whoa. Wow, look at us. How do I stop? How do I? Okay, thank you. Jesus. 
this spacey epic music, I, I do really like it. It's very, very nice, right? So how do we dock on this? Oh, yeah, we did it. Whoa, okay. So we have docks in a commercial zone. Interesting. There's a little story going on. It's weird, though, that there's absolutely no sound suddenly. Just all the music and sound stopped. Her name is Susan. Of course, her name is Susan. Okay, so here we can also get a contract. Okay, so we have to go and find something somewhere in order to do stuff. Oh, wow. New ship. Follow the radiation signals. Ooh, we're doing a little investigation here. Exciting, actually. That engine roaring sound is really, really cool. Of course, pirates. Of course. The voice acting is not bad. It's actually pretty nice. All right, let's see if this uh, ship can fly a little bit better than the previous one can, right? Wow, these pirates are really weak. That hurts. Wow, and the computer is apparently sassy. But you got these little stories going on, which is nice. Okay, so we need a 6 plus charisma for this, so we have to roll a die. And that makes the music start again. I rolled 9. Look at us. That's what we needed. Well, we got the chance. Yes, that's positive. Let's go. Honey, I'm back home. Hello. So we found the freighter and we were able to uncover something. So that's all positive. Here we go. And we got a new mission going on. We will accept that contract. Engineering workshop. Here, we can make all kinds of stuff. New cannons. And the ion reactor. That's what we needed. Let's go. Let's make this. There we go. Bam. We made it. We did it. So there's also a bunch of different resources you can collect throughout space. Apparently. That's nice. I want to know where our RPG elements are though. <gasps> Is this here? Is it here? There we go. There we go. Charisma, attitude, RPG elements. There we go. Oh, we can even give them some buffs here, I guess, later on. We can upgrade this already. Look at us. Oh, no, we can't. We don't have any points. <laughs> so, yeah, this is still only the prologue. I'm actually quite enjoying this. I had a bit of a rough start, so I was a bit hesitant afterwards, but I'm quite enjoying this. There's a little hub. You get missions there. You can do upgrades, and then you do more missions. You can upgrade yourselves. But we have definitely barely scratched the surface of this game. Game. And it's still in early access too, so more things are going to be added. Yeah, this is pretty solid. Nice. Computer! This is Midnight Protocol. It's a hacking simulation game where we're going to hack our way through a storyline. We're going to uncover something, but what? I do not know. I actually know very little about this game, so... Oh, don't panic. You're not supposed to see your cursor. Midnight Protocol is played entirely through your keyboard. Okay, so it's turn-based or real-time, but that's still in beta. Oh no, there's no sound and a lot of reading. From the editorial team at the wire.org. Data, wherever you are, whoever you are, Keep fighting the good fight. We will. Assuming that we are data. I'm assuming we are this person that nobody knows. Username. Oh, no. I want to type something else. Okay, fine. This is my password. I'm never going to remember that. I just hit random buttons. Inbox. Emails. Okay, we got status. Logs. This music really helped me sleep. This is one of those Delta Waves music thingies, right? Mm. Oh, we can choose a reaction. Thanks, Clover. Let me just fake type this out for you. There we go. Sorry, guys. That's not what I wanted to type. There we go. This is what I wanted to type. Machine added to address panel. Here you can select an address you have collected to initiate a hack on the network. Yes, let's connect with this connection. Why not enter? Why? I knew this. It's on the screen. <laughs> okay, so this is it. We're in the game now. You've breached the network. A network consists of several nodes. You will always start on the access node. The game is played over several turns and on your turn you can do two actions. You can spend an action to move, run, remove a program interface with the node or exit the program. There seems to be important information under my face, so I'll move my face out of the way here as well. Move F0. Most nodes have a special interface action. This node type contains financial records that can be funneled to your account. Useful, I guess. Interface. Oh, there we go. The ring around the financial node indicates how many credits remain. During its turn, the network will trace your position. Once a trace bar in the top right corner of the screen is filled, the network will start to drain your credits, destroy your assets, or worse. Oh no, that does not sound good. Drain the financial node before this happens. Okay, so we're gonna interface again. I, I suck at typing. Yay, A+. plus. I succeed in life. Look, mom. Got another address, so we're gonna go to the address, do another one of these missions. Now there are two nodes, and we just have to drain both. You can spend an action to run a program for your deck. You can have special things that we can use. No, they can't see us, which is useful. Each can be started because Cloak is eating up all your... Uh, so as you can see in the left top here, we have these slices. This little pie chart here, which is our processing power. So Cloak is using some of our processing slices. Slice, Cloak, or... Now we've done that, so now we can Leech. Leech is now installed on this node and will just steal money for us over time, which is super useful. Making it possible for us to just move to F1. 
Let's go. Oh, we did it. We got all the money. There we go. Yes, please. There we go. A plus. Man, I am making people proud here. Oh, wow. Another email. Okay, so somebody called Kraken put us behind bars. And this Clover person is really, really worried by the fact that we are immediately going back into the hacking game. Even though it's our life. It's who I am. You can't stop me from who I am, Clover. You have to understand. I am a hacker. I am a hacktivist. That does not sound as cool as I thought it was going to sound. But right now, the gameplay of the little game that we're constantly playing does not really feel like something that has anything to do with the story. Oh, we got some information now. Look at that. Oh, and this gave us another address. Two guys think they can just steal some money, huh? Well, let me steal it from you guys. Sniffer. Requires a sniffer. Oh, here we can look at our deck. Can we bring the sniffer? This is our deck. So we have our cloak, dagger, our leech, and our sniffer. Sniffer F0. Yay, there was a wall there. Uh, so now we use a dagger. Bam, bam, bam. And then we end our turn. Oh, we have to use another dagger. Oh, no, it goes automatically. Oh, yeah, because it's still on, of course. Yes, yes, yes. But this part of the game is just here to simulate that hacking, and it does feel really cool. I do really like the music once it kicks up a little bit. The story does seem a little simple and straightforward. And yet it makes me curious, but also just the whole vibe. It gives this weird technological sci-fi kind of vibe, and I just like that. I like sci-fi, so I never really got into these type of games. Is there anybody out there that really likes this or these types of games? Should I try this one out, or do you have a recommendation on one that's going to drag me into this type of game forever please let me know in the comments down below mm, but that's sci-fi music man i like it last one this is rebel cops a turn-based strategy game and a spin-off of this is the police and this is the police 2 two games that i've played and very much enjoyed it all revolves around building up a team combining the strengths of the characters and maybe there are even some rpg elements here too but will this game with its XCOM combat surprise as much as this is the police did well we'll find out right now the music is already very very nice so in this is the police you play as the police and here the twist is is that we kind of still are the police but we have gone bad or rogue or i think so that's what it seems to be anyway but of course as a police you act within the law but sometimes you have to take the law into your own hands if you know what i mean here you go okay normal controls this all seems to be pretty normal you can move you Got some visuals going on go to the window open the window open that window oh click yeah, open the window. A little menu pops up like that. That looks pretty funny. It takes a little second, though, which is less nice. You would want it to be snappy, I would say. Criminals can't see cops in covers. Of course not. Cops in cover are absolutely invisible. That's just how it works. Stun the criminal. Yo, criminal, what are you What is? What are you doing anyway? How do I stun? Whoa, giant interface. Ah, you can just click on him, and then a little wheel pops up. That's pretty useful, actually. He keeps standing up like that while he's stunned. Ah, we can keep them at gunpoint for a full turn. Freeze you. Hold still, you. Freezer Rooney, Freezer Rooney. And nothing you can do. Nothing you guys can do. That's really funny. Okay. I will arrest you with my arresting and powers. Can we just arrest all of them now? Weirdly enough, it does not feel as snappy as you would want it to be. Everything kind of takes a second. Every menu kind of takes a second before it pops up. Which is fine. It's just something I really have to get used to, I would say. I think we are, by the way, here to get this guy. Interesting. So this little eye symbol you see under the character means that he's being watched by teammates. And then if you would go somewhere, they would stop you. Taser him. Yes. There you go. Taser him your face but that's my taser sound effect so most enemies will just be walking around but if an enemy has his arms crossed for whatever reason then they're just harumphing and they will not move unless they see something or something i can barely call this gun sound it almost sounds like they're popping champagne more than anything else shoot the criminal wow oh you can shoot them at different parts of okay wow and you kill oh he's immediately just dead a sniper we have a sniper just here okay cool scope out that please your other criminals are in the vault. Most likely they have hostages. These little notes seem to be interesting. They give you some hints on what's going on in the level, giving you little codes or other little tidbits of useful information that you could use. Very nice. I will here. handcuff you. There we go. We did it. That's easy peasy. Getting suave will not be easy. Okay, so we're trying to get this one suave guy. We're hunting for him. Okay, so we have supplies. So we can go to the merchant to top up on supplies, which is useful. Oh, are we just going to follow this line on this map? This looks very funny, by the way. And you have to equip the people you're bringing or bringing them because otherwise they will be there without anything which is horrible i've got so many people i'm not giving them ammo i also have to give them ammo uh, and there are some side missions here we can do too can i just uh, bring these guys there you go and then we can keep going ah uh, that's how you manage your team it feels a lot less in depth than a lot of these games are like the xcom games or the this is the police games what this is based on and even though i really really like jazz music this is actually making me a little nervous over time i don't like that as much now, this music 
music is really making me nervous, uh, guys. You can't skip the movement of, the, of your team people. Like, you can't. You, I have to watch this. So we do gain experience points with every successful thing we do. So in this case, the arrest, which also gives us rebel points, apparently, which we can then spend here. Oh, that was my turn? Oh, I immediately did that. Oh, shit. I thought it was just going to be an upgrade. Oh, we can speed up the game. They tell us is now, for some reason, to speed up the game, you press V. So somebody walks up and puts a gun to your head. And then for some reason, you're like, no. No, I will not freeze. I will not do it. What? No, I would be freaking terrified is what I would be. I'd just shank him. Objective failed. Don't kill anybody. That was an objective. I didn't actually read the objectives. Oh shit, the alarm, not the alarm. But you suddenly saw her? Why do you peek out? What? He peeked out to be shot? Did you feel like that was necessary? There you go. Even though we're all almost dying, uh, we're still going to make it somehow. There's so really no rotating. Really is no rotating. Like, I want to see this from the other side. Okay. So rotating camera is just not a thing at all. Oh, we finally did it. No, 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 no. Come on, man. No. I wanted to press the thing. This is what I mean. That little menu. It takes freaking, it takes a freaking second longer than you than I expected to open. Are you kidding me? Now I didn't make it, did I? Oh, that's leaving a sour taste in my mouth. Oh, especially after I actually killed everybody, but I wasn't able to click that one button at the end. Oh, sour taste. So clearly a challenge. And if you like these little puzzly games, and especially if you like this is the police, then this is just more of the same for you to enjoy. You've reached the end of this month's humble choice. First look, extravaganza. I am surprised and disappointed this month. I feel like the overall quality wasn't higher than normal and still we only got 10 games let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below and if you like what you saw here please like subscribe and join the cubicle and i will see you in the next one bye i had fun with project winter but between the stars that is the surprise for me i want to play more of that wait oh no i want to play early access games now too there's too much to play already there's just so much to 